I need it. It doesn't work that way, Mr. Woodruff. Terminally ill patients begging for life-saving care they can't get because the medicine they need hasn't been approved by the government, by the FDA. Well, this month, Colorado became the first state to change that, giving patients access to unapproved experimental drugs other states could follow. But why are these treatments so hard to get, and why is the federal government apparently against it? Lucy Caldwell, the Goldwater Institute, the group that created the model for Colorado's legislation, joins us now to explain. Lucy, thanks a lot for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. So the idea, if, as I understand it, is people who have been judged terminal by doctors ought to have access to drugs that haven't been approved because why not? Absolutely. The old system is completely broken, and the Right to Try Act, just passed in Colorado and signed in Louisiana yesterday, is going to change that. It's going to cut the red tape in the decade plus billion dollar process it takes to get an, a drug to market while terminally ill patients die not getting access. Well, so how could anybody possibly be against that? This is for patients who are gravely ill, who don't have other options. Absolutely. These are patients who have exhausted all of their conventional treatment options. They're under the care of the doctor. And in general, the, the the risk analysis is a lot different. We don't necessarily know whether or not this drug is going to be a miracle cure. We can't guarantee that, but there's something we can guarantee if they don't get access, and that's death. That's right, and this is something that the patient freely chooses. These are patients who are saying, I want to take this drug. I'm willing to take the risks associated with it. Absolutely. Right now, only about 3% of the sickest patients can even get into a clinical trial, so the vast majority of them are hearing about drugs that could be lifesavers or extend their lives, and they simply cannot get access. So under the Right to Try Act, with their doctor, they'll be able to transact directly with a medical company right. and get access to the health. But the need. FDA doesn't want this because it might harm these patients who are going to die. I mean, this is like not allowing death row inmates to smoke because it could be bad for their health. <laughs> what, this is crazy. It seems to me this is like a classic case of bureaucrats protecting their turf. Well, sure. I mean, the FDA is the most popular federal agency in the country, and they're very worried about people fearing that they're taking a drug that's unsafe. But we're not talking about someone having an elective procedure here. We're talking about people who, for whom his death is otherwise certain. I think that drug companies are going to go forward in states like Colorado, in Louisiana, where it was passed yesterday, yes. uh, and, and give patients the access they need. And I know some are already making plans to. So it would be a crying shame if the FDA decides to not let this law stand. It is meant to work in tandem with their process, and it would be terrible for the patients who need access right but now. But you would think that the Obama administration would be jumping for joy that this was becoming law, but they're not. Well, hey, he's got a new he's got a new press secretary, so today's a new day. <laughs> today's a new day. You are you are ever hopeful. So, well, this <laughs> could also it seems to me the ancillary benefit of this might be research. So you're going to have a larger pool of people taking these drugs potentially. Absolutely. The, the problem now is it just takes so long for us to get information. I was with a family last week. Their son, Diego, was 10 when he was diagnosed with a rare form of osteosarcoma. They said to their doctors, what do we do? And they said, there's a drug, mifamertide. It's not here in the U.S. They had went on a world tour, basically picked up their life, moved to Europe. He got treatment there. That drug has been available in Europe since 2009, even today, five years later, still not approved here. And he's alive today because his parents had the it's resource. But there are thousands of stories of people who couldn't drop everything and move to a foreign country. That's, a, that's appalling to see the FDA stopping progress in its tracks. Lucy Caldwell, thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks.